hands are coming and it's even awkward to turn what one of those things it seems to say the same for me it was not that long ago when I was very young and the only thing it was for to me what you can Okay. Now I'm stuck living in a world of you, okay? And I want to grow up, but I can't grow up because I'm stuck living in a world of you, okay? And you see, hands are coming, and it's even awkward to turn, but one of those things just seems to say this. This is a story about a boy named Michael. After school, he goes to the arcade to play video games, and that is what was important to him. Michael spent all of his money on the, in the arcade, so what did he do? He stole money from his parents just to play video games at the arcade. He got caught by his parents, and his parents got mad at him and told him there's more to life than this video game, but Michael didn't care or all the whole you hate to be again. Michael got sent to his room for what he did, but he said he wished that his life was just that a video game, the whole he wanted. Michael wished it come true. You're stuck in a video game. And he could not leave the video game. You're stuck in a world of video games. But that's what he wanted. Isn't it? You have a lovely Saturday where we the story for again. And Dave and Sarah had their friend over, kid on, and she bought her little sister over. Sarah said to her dad, we're going to be in the basement, so don't watch us. Sarah's dad said, you're not working that embarrassment on you again of yours. Sarah said, yeah, we are. Sarah's dad said, oh, okay, I won't bother you, okay? Kids said, okay, run this by me again. What does this thing do again? Sarah said, don't you remember? Oh, it allowed her you to go into the video game world. Kids said, have you finally got it to work? Sarah said, I think so. David said, yeah, we've got it to work. Let's try it. Sarah said, to Dave, are you sure that's okay? David said, yeah, I think we should try it. Sarah said, okay, let's try it. They had the machine on, uh -huh, and it was working, and then suddenly something happened. They were basically in the video game world, and David said, how about we get out? Sarah said, yeah, let's get out. The kids said, yeah, let's definitely get out and start exploring this place. Sarah said, yeah. Sarah said, so this is what an inside video game looks like. It's nice and open. Dave said, yeah, it is nice and open, Sarah. Kids said, yeah, it is nice and open. Holly said, yeah, let's, it is nice and open. Sarah said, how about we go and explore this land? Dave said, that's a good idea. Michael said to David, can you help me? David said, I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Michael said, I won't hurt you. I'm good. I want you to help me. David said, I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. Michael said, I'm not a stranger. You don't understand. I would want a boy like you, honey, but I'm into arcades honey, and all this. Now I'm stuck living here in the video game world. David said, okay, I'll talk, we'll talk about it, but, um, I'll talk to my friends about it, okay? Let's see if we can do this. I heard David was talking to his friends over it, and his sister. He asked Michael, what is the problem? Michael said, my problem is this. When I was younger, I stole money on from my parents when I had a video game, and I got punished for it, right? So I got sent to my room. 
But somehow I end up living in the video game world. I don't know why. Diva said, what do you want us to do about it? Michael said, there's a way behind regard to all the video games in this world. We can go there online and we can get permission for me on to be normal again in your world. David said, okay, but what do you want us to do with the kids? Michael said, are you going to help me anyway? David said, okay, I'll hold you. They basically said they would take the train because it was going to be a long trip behind to get where the whip was. And the train sounded like fun for them, so they took the train, and that's what they did. They were standing out of the back of the train and looking outside saying, Why? I can't even see the truck. That's how fast we're going. And they said, To itself, it kind of makes me a little sore. He's thinking, Okay, I'll I think it's going to match a lot of fun, because I don't know, so I'll sing the song to my song. How can anything say the same for Michael? How can anything say the same for Michael? Can we get on with our life? I know Michael is the adult, but I feel sorry for him. Oh, I feel sorry for Michael. He wants to get on with his life. We stop living here in the world of D.O.K. Just because you were like that when you were young doesn't mean you like that when you're older. Why can't he move on his life? Oh, I feel sorry for Michael. Oh. Sarah said to David, Don't you want to come in on him? They're serving dinner now on the train. Dave said, okay, I'll come in. Let's I'm hungry. Sarah said, okay, let's just go and get dinner. Dave said, yeah. It was nighttime on the train and they were asleep, but Michael couldn't get asleep for one pair of reasons. He wished that he could have his life back, he said. He did be stuck in the world of video games. Sarah said to Michael, what are you doing out here? Don't you realize how late you? Michael said, yeah, I know, but I wish I could have my old life back. I hate living in this world of video games. I just wish I could be a kid again. Sarah said, you've got to move on with your life, Michael. You're not a kid, you're an adult. You've got to understand that. Michael said, yeah, I know. I guess I have to understand, but I wish I could be a kid again and go back to my old life, but not be interviewing it. Just be a normal kid. Sarah said, I understand what you mean, Michael. I understand. Michael did because you were like that man then. Did because you like the game then. Doesn't mean you'll be like that now. I understand what you mean, Michael. Oh, I understand what you mean, Michael. You want to move on with your life. Oh, you want to move on with your life. Did they cut you were like that then? Doesn't mean you're like that now. Oh, Michael, I understand what you're saying to say to me, Michael. Sarah said to Michael, how about we go inside and go back to sleep? I'm sure the way will help you when we get there, Michael. Okay, I understand what your problem is. Michael said thank you. It was the next day and they reached their destination. So they basically decided to get off the train anyways because they were at their destination. Sarah, 
were hungry, so they sat at a bush uh -huh, and looked at these berries and smelled them to see if they were edible, and they were edible, so they ate them. But then Michael noticed that they were eating the berries, and he said, Stop! Don't eat the berries! Sarah and David said, Why not? Michael said, Because I like alcohol. David said, and Sarah said, Okay. <laughs> David and Sarah felt dizzy and they were tired, so they lied down on the ground because they were drunk from eating the berries. Michael said, are you guys okay? Just lie down there. Just sit down and it'll wear off. Kid said, you cared about them, didn't you, Michael? Kid said, you know why you cared about them, Michael? Because you're an adult. You care about people. Michael said, yeah, you're right. I do care about people. Sarah and David were feeling better now, and they were able to stand up, so they were ready to go on their journey with Michael. And Michael said, okay, we're all ready, let's go to the wicked house. And they said, yeah, let's go to the wicked house. Michael said, see that castle there? That's where the witch lives. He'll help me. Dear said, okay, we'll go in and we'll talk to the witch about getting your your old life back. But not where you were when you were into video games. Right? Michael said, yeah. The witch said, you guys have come very far to see me. What can I do for you? Michael said, I want my old life back. I don't want to be in the vegan world anymore. The witch said, you're an adult, Michael. The real reason why you're here is something that you did when you were younger. Right? You said you wanted to live in a vegan world. Michael said, that was then. This is now. You had time I'm allowed to move on with my life, Michael said. The witch said, yeah, you should move on to his life. That was one of the problems. I can, all I can do is make you back to what you were when you were a kid, your side. But the problem is that you can't go back to where you were then. For one parent anything. Your parents are dead. My father, they are. The wish that your parents loved you. Even if you stole money from them, right? That's why they didn't call a call because they loved you. But they're dead, Michael. Michael said, Well, what what do you want me to what can I do? The wish said, What I can do is I can make you a kid's size, basically. And that was the problem. But you have to live with them, your friend behind what you made here. David said to Michael, you're our life now, you're not a grown anymore. Michael said, I'm a kid, but the problem is this, isn't it? I can't have my own life back. Michael said, yeah, I can't have my own life back, David. Can I live with you, you with your family? David said, oh, I'll have to talk to my parents about it. But I stir, or my parents, uh -huh, because I really have a dad, but anyway, I think I knew we could that you into our family. Sarah said, yeah, you're welcome in our family, Michael. You're welcome in our family. They were back in their own world, and David said to his dad, um, we were in the vegan world, and we met this boy called Michael. Is he allowed to live with us? David's dad said, yeah, he was allowed to live with them. Some dads or something would say that their kids were being silly or being dad, but their dad actually believed them because he affected the honesty of his children. You see him are coming, and it's even all going to turn. But one of the things it seemed to say the same for me It was not that long ago 
When I was very young, and the only thing so was for to me is what you can you can. Now I'm stuck living in a world of you, okay? And I want to grow up, but I can't grow up because I'm stuck living in a world of you, okay?